black. What's good everybody? I am Rogue Ren. welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're ready for another video, because today I'm going to be showing you how to use VTube Studio on Linux. I'm using it right now, it's great, it's a little bit wonky to get set up, but it works fantastically once you get it running, so hopefully you all enjoy this. So let's get right into the video. Now, if you'll notice something here, there's something a little bit off about this recording, and that is that I'm not in the corner. The reason being is that I'm about to show you how to set up VTube Studio for Linux. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your browser. I have Firefox open, and you're gonna wanna download OpenSea Face, so. I don't remember the exact URL, but you just search OpenSea Face GitHub. I'll have it linked below, and this is it right here, github.com slash Emiliana VT slash open C face. This is the link you want. So you're going to want to do that and you're going to want to copy it. And I think that's pretty much everything you need from the browser. So next you're going to want to open up a terminal. So you can either go into your uh, start menu and you can find it in there or you can use a shortcut key. I have it set to meta T, which the meta key is the equivalent on Linux for the Windows key. At least it's called meta in my desktop environment. It's also called super, so super T. I have a custom keycap with the Linux mascot Tux on it, so I know which key it is. After you have gotten the URL for OpenCface, you want to download and install it with the following command. Git clone and then the URL. Now I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to run it again, but you're going to run that and it will download into your home directory. Your home directory being the first folder that opens when you open your file browser right here, home. So as you can see, if I go through, there is OpenC Face right here. And this is all the information. It's in home, OpenC Face. Now there is a little bit to getting this set up. If you need full instructions, they can be found on Emiliana's website for VC Face. Which the link for is right here, vcface.icu. If you run down to running on Linux, it will give you all the commands that you need to get OpenC Face running, which is what we are going to be using. It's going to essentially be doing the same thing as you would to run VC Face on Linux, but we'll be using a different program that's also going to read from OpenC Face. So the first command is going to be your dependency, sudo apt-get install. You're going to need Python 3, Python 3 pip, Python 3 virtual env. You're going to get git. If you didn't already have it, you will install sudo apt install git. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. The next command will be the one that we've already done, git clone and then the URL for vcface. You're going to want to go into the vcface folder with the cd command. So if you type in cd and then the location of the folder, which if you downloaded it with git will be in the default place for this command. So cd open cface. You can see that our terminal is now in the open C face folder. Next, you will run virtual env p python3 env. And once that command completes, you will run source env slash bin slash activate. And then pip3 install onnx runtime opencv python pillow numpy. And that will be everything you need to install. Once it's all installed, you can close the terminal, open a new one, and go back to this command, cd open c face, then run source env slash bin slash activate. env and base are now active. You wanna make sure that you only have one webcam plugged in for this, which is a little bit annoying. However, if you get a little USB dock like I have, you can plug and unplug stuff pretty easily. So as it stands, I only have the one webcam connected. The last command you will need to type will be this, python face tracker.py and then all of the parameters. So just copy and paste that into your terminal and run it. And when you do, it should see your camera, turn on the camera and begin tracking. That lined up so perfectly with how I was saying it. And now we have it. So every time I blink, you can see right here, it blinks. The little O's turn to dashes so it knows eyes are closed. So now that we have OpenC Face running and we've got our camera tracking us, you're gonna move that to the side. And here is the second part that you will need. And that is 
a second webcam of some kind. It doesn't matter what it is, you're not going to actually use it, but you need an unused camera device that VTube Studio can see. There's a little bit of a bug in how it searches for camera when it browses for them. If it doesn't see an unused camera, it just kind of freezes, which can get really annoying. <laughs> so you need a second one that it can see so that it will actually work. So go ahead and plug that in if you haven't already. When you now have that camera plugged in, you can then go to Steam and start up VTube Studio. Once you have gotten to VTube Studio, you can go ahead and launch it. And now we've loaded. You can see my model right here. Hello. And you're gonna go to the settings icon, go over to the webcam options. And as you can see, mine is already set to the VTube Studio Cam. This is what you want to use. If it's not already set to this, choose the choose camera option. And as you can see, the program has frozen. This is because it wasn't quite sure if it could see a webcam or not. It's annoying. You're going to have to do this about three or four times before it actually sees the webcam. It's annoying. I'm not entirely sure why it does it, but believe when I say it does eventually work. It's just something that you have to close and start again. Another thing of note, I would like to point out that the version of Proton I'm using is Proton 6.1 Glorious Egg Roll 2. You can download this version of Proton off of GitHub. You just drag it into a folder. There is instructions on how to do it on the GitHub page. It's very easy to install. You just have to find the right location, then copy the folder in there, and then you're done. Now, once again, we're gonna try going to Webcam Options, choose Camera, and there we are. Now we have the two options. This is the unused camera, which is actually a PlayStation Eye, and then I have the VTube Studio Cam, which is what you want. You're only gonna have one option, which is four by four, you're gonna choose 120 FPS, and you're gonna to wanna to go with XRGB. ARGB is really laggy and does not work very well. Now that we're done, we can turn camera on. And now we have it. And now you can see myself moving. Now my mouth is not moving the most because I did not do the warm up. Hold on. There we are. Now it's working better. No, it's not. It's because I didn't do the warm up on open sea face. Oh man, let's interrupt that with control C and start it again. All right, now it's working correctly. No, it's not. Camera on. Okay, there we go. Now it seems to be working. Ah, it's not. I swear to God, this works. <laughs> I've used it on stream several times. I've used it in videos. My last video was recorded using VTube Studio. I went out and I bought the DLC <laughs> so I could remove the watermark just to show it off better. That's not something you have to do. It's just highly recommended that you do it. Otherwise you have this little guy in the corner. So we're gonna go to options, camera. We're gonna start the camera and there we are. Now we're working. It's working a little bit better now. It's still not the best. I don't know why it's so insensitive, but that's typically easily fixed by just going to the model settings. Oh, mouth open is set to two. There we are. Now it's good. I'll figure that out later. That's my model acting weird. That's not the program itself. My guess is I didn't do a warm up, so I just stopped open C face, started it again, and just opened my eyes and mouth over and over really wide and shut them really tight, and then turned my head left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down. So I think I just didn't up, uh, warm up open C face. Camera on. It froze because I didn't, because I didn't check the camera. This is the one drawback to open C face, uh, or VTube Studio, I mean, not open C face. Open C face is fine. Um, because it can't directly see the camera, you have to do this weird little freeze workaround. Uh, granted, that should be fixed uh, some point in the near future. Um, Denchi's kind of aware of how there is a bug in how it looks for cameras, and they may be working on it. I'm not entirely sure. You can check their Trello to see how that's coming along. And it froze again. This is a terrible tutorial for me having so many issues. <laughs> But it's something. I don't think anyone else is talking about how to do this, so I'm gonna do it. I've somehow made an entire channel about doing stuff on systems it wasn't designed for. Oh boy, this is gonna be the whole video now, isn't it? There we go, now it's working. Okay, yeah, now my mouth is working correct. Okay, cool, all right, there we are. And now we have our model. So uh, assuming your model is done, isn't uh, acting weird for absolutely no reason. It should work perfectly fine because I'm a great example of that. And that's gonna be how you run VTube Studio on Linux. Little weird, little wonky, but it is getting better with each update that Denchi pushes out. I assume that sometime in the near future, Denchi will get around to that weird little quirk in the searching for cameras thing to where it won't just freeze and it'll just 
give spit out some sort of error window you can close, which will make it a lot easier to, to try again and again to get it to see open C face. So once that's coming, uh, or once that comes along, it will be a, <laughs> a lot less of a hassle to have to, because you won't have to close and reopen VTube Studio every time. Now there are a couple other drawbacks. Uh, the first of which being that I don't know if the run without Steam works. I haven't tested that. It's a batch file, which I don't know if you can run on Linux. I don't think you can, especially considering how you need Proton to run this. So if you're in a situation where you need to run, say, a game on one computer and VTube Studio on another, but you only have one Steam account to run them between, you'll have to run one of them in an offline mode, which is the workaround that I used to use when I was using Peer Peer Live while streaming Tales of Berseria. I ran VTube Studio, I ran Peer Peer Live on my stream PC in offline mode, and then the game online mode, uh, and then used remote play to connect to it, which weirdly enough, you can use remote play in offline mode. I think as long as the hosting game is in online mode, the client that's connecting to it can be offline, which is weird, but it works. So that's a solution you can use. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit subscribe to get notified and hit the bell to actually get notified when new videos come out. I post every week on Friday at around 1115 Central Time and you can make sure that you will see the next video, which I believe the next thing that I'm going to put out will be uh, how to get GPU rendering in Caden Live on Linux, because that is something I recently found out you can do, and it's a little bit weird to get working, but it's not hard, it's just odd. So hopefully you'll stick around for that. That is a great editor, and I absolutely love it. It's what I use to make all my videos, but I will see you all next time. Peace out.